Hi everyone, welcome back to the Neo Nails channel. My name's Sarah Clark, and in this video, we're going to be doing some extra long stiletto glitter nails with a pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, on me. You forgot on to mention Stephanie. my name. <laughs> on me. Let's get cracking. Right, so we've already prepped these nails, we've fit some extreme length stiletto tips, dehydrated them, primed them and now they're ready for the acrylic. So we're going to be using Raspberry Ripple. Raspberry Ripple and Something Springs. <laughs> it was Something Springs, I don't remember, but we'll listen in, yeah. in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do a small amount of clear acrylic on the natural nail before we apply the glitter. Just a small bead. Is it because it's easy like to remove the glitter on top of an acrylic or? The glitter may lift off the natural nail, nail. If without the base. So it's good just to put it down also prevents lifting. Mm. I find it hard to remove glitter from a natural nail. Oh, yeah, it is. It's it? a nightmare. So just a small bead up to the cuticle. Push it down. Doesn't need to cover the tip. Just the natural nail. So now we've laid down that clear bead. We will start filling it with glitter. I love glitter. I love glitter. So my favourite way of using glitter, small dip in the clear acrylic, dip in one, dip in the other, roll it onto the nail. Oh, those colours are so good together. They're gorgeous. Do you get a lot of glitter requests like from your clients, especially in the summertime? Yes, you are getting loads of glitter. It's festival season soon. Yeah, it is. Just like to do it in small sections as well, so you know you've got it covered. You can always go back and add some more. Now, Sarah, it's the first time I'm having my nails done pink. It's my go to colour for everything. It's so nice. I feel like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put too much up at the cuticle because you don't want to have loads of fine at the end. Keep your bead of acrylic fairly wet at the top. Tuck it in. Oh, this look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. We'll leave that to set and then we'll come back and encapsulate that later. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I love it. Amazing. Yeah, pink dust with everyone, you're right. Now we're going to encapsulate these with clear. Crystal clear. Mm. 
just do small sections of that as well just to make sure you've capped it all Ugly nails are really my favourite. Favourite. These nails. It's insane, right? It's gorgeous. I can't wait to put the top coat on. <laughs> Apex bead. Make sure the strength is there for a nail this long. And just a small bead at the cuticle. Gonna pop another one there where it's missing. One of those, isn't it, when you have a very long nail? It's always a piece missing. Mm. Push it backwards first and pull that bead down. And continue that right across all five nails. Right, we'll let them dry and then we will file them into shape. Look at that, love it. So make sure where there's no acrylic stuck to the side, hold the skin back and file the side walls nice and straight. sharp point and I like to go down the sides taking off the bulk keeping your file fairly flat everybody has different ways of filing this is just how I'm comfortable doing it lots of different ways of filing yeah everyone has their own process they do I must say mine is quite similar to yours. I always start with the free edge, then I contour and then I go to the cuticle area at the end. I like to leave the cuticle area to last. It's yeah. just my preference. Same here, yeah. I think sometimes if you take the cuticle area down early, you can maybe ruin the shape. But if you do it last, in my opinion. No, same here. I agree. Then you can take a lot of the height by mistake without realising when you don't contour the rest of the nail, you know? That's right. Mm -hmm. Check it from the client's perspective. Sometimes you'll find that you've left one side a little bit bulky. If you're right-handed, it'll probably be the right side. If you're left-handed, it'll probably be the left. Nails look gorgeous. Beautiful. So. 
So we're going to buff the scratches out of these nails now. Get them all nice and smooth. I cannot wait for you to top coat those bad boys. No. Oh. Before I do, I like to use this cuticle bit to go around and just take the thickness out of the cuticle area slightly. To get that a bit more flush. Gel residue wipe off solution, get rid of all that dust. If it comes out. <laughs> there we there go. There we go. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. I think it's the first time Drew sees me so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm usually grumpy. You can never be grumpy again now with these. No, Looking not with these, these on. All day. So we are going to stick on some, some more bling pom pom. Ooh! So these are magnets, so you can take it off. Oh, I up. love that! So we just stick the base on. It's giving me a bit there. of um, clueless vibes, you know, ah. with the pom poms and pink. So we'll use some clear acrylic to stick this on because it is strong. Lay it out. I just want to pop it there. And I'll sit this magnet in. You wouldn't see any of this because, uh, mm -hmm. but you want it to be strong, so I like to wrap the acrylic around it. Keep tight hold of it. Yeah, you need to with my hands. Super rough. <laughs> I think everyone is, aren't they, with a lifestyle? So you, the stronger you make things, the better, really. Yeah. The magic. Da -da. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. How gorgeous are these? I love it. How girly. Wow, that's really girly for me. But I love it, I won't lie. Well, put your top coat on first then. Also, these mm. teddy bears are just gorgeous. Yes. Be good gender reveal on Elsie's if you knew you were having oh, a girl. That's true. I mean, I'm not having a girl, but I look like I am. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need to do, we'll have bling and pink nails. <laughs> so again, we'll stick this on with some acrylic because you need this to be fairly strong. It's a very, um, I've seen in the States, for example, and in Japan, they're very big on big kind of charms and sculpting 3D charms, you know? Mm-hmm. I love sticking embellishments on, I just think. Yeah. It makes the nail, doesn't it? It gives you personality as well, having something on. Of course it does. You know? It's so nice to be unique and have like different nails. 
And everybody loves to see it, don't they? Everyone, everyone loves it. Not, not many have the guts to wear it, but everyone is like, wow, I wish I could wear them. I mean, you're never too old for a teddy on your nails, are you? Oh, never. never. I'm a kid. I'm still a big kid. <laughs> you can put those teddies on anything. They're gorgeous. So we'll finish this off with some gel top coat before we pop that pom-pom back on. Are you ready for this reveal, Steffi? Oh my days. Look I mean, at that. You could never get sick of doing that, can oh, you? Oh, never. That's my favourite part of every set. <laughs> but Amazing. glitter nails is obviously the best. Just go around that. I am loving these nails. I'll be and ask for this in the salon all next week now, no doubt. <laughs> nah, copyright stuff is nice. <laughs> Steffi said no. I know one of my clients who would love this. Love these nails. They're yeah, absolutely stunning. Can't wait to go out and show everyone. Like I said, I will scratch someone tonight as well, so. <laughs> Pop those in the lamp. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're too long to go in the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think about that. Yeah. We need an extra long lamp. <laughs> so <gasps> let's pop this little beauty back on. Fluff it up. They're so clever because you can take them off to do the washing up or do the cooking. Mm. It's brilliant. Oh. I love it. Should we take the You'll have to lose it again to put the cuticle to, yeah. oil on. Bubblegum cuticle oil. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. I need to smell it as well. It's, that mm. is really oh, nice. Oh, I want to eat I need it. Some of that. <laughs> it actually smells like the teddy on my finger. Oh, your fingers <laughs> are going to smell and look amazing. That's so nice. It must it's be new. I don't think I'll ever get sick of putting this on and off, to be honest. It's uh, addictive, that is. Oh, wow, how gorgeous is that? Very stunning, I love it. So there it is, a long stiletto nail with glitter and a pom-pom. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Love you, Sarah. Right, Sarah, let's redo that without a stick. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>